Do you often struggle to find the right tool to create your video mask? In this case, I needed to create a black and white video mask that I can use with stable diffusion, but I had struggled a little bit to find the right tool that can easily create that black and white dynamic video mask. So in this video, I want to show you exactly what tool I used and how quickly I was able to create this black and white video mask, which you may need for stable diffusion or any other AI animation tool for your purposes. Okay, so the app that we are going to use is called Runway ML, and I'll have the link in the description. So you have it as well. And the first time you come in, you just have to sign up. It's free. And for that, all you need, just some basic information, your email address, and you have to create a password. So once you've done that, you just log in with that new user ID and password of yours. And this is where you're brought in, the app. And if you look at it, it looks quite similar to many of the editors that are out there. So we have an editing panel and we have, we have the timeline, the bottom. So the look and feel is quite similar. So what we need to do, we have to upload our video here. And this is my actual video, Women with a Pigeon. So once you have started uploading it, you'll see that it's uploading at the moment. So we have to give it the time for it to complete uploading. Okay, so that's the file. It's only nine seconds. So what we do at that point, we drag it into this panel here. And this is our video. Now at this point, it's entirely up to you. If you want, you can resize it. So I'm going to resize it to 640 by 640. So it's easier for me to see. And if you want, you can play it as well. By the way, you can also see it in the timeline. So that tells you the video is brought in for editing. Okay, so now that we have our video, let's just pause it here. We are ready to mask it. And in order for me to get that masking panel, we just have to highlight the video in the timeline. And you'll see that the panel on the right-hand side shows up. And right below Magic Tools, there's an option here called Green Screen. That's what we want to select. And once we have selected that, you'll notice that it's suggesting that you have to point within your video to mask. So let's say I want to mask just the pigeon here. So I select a couple of points here by clicking on it. And you can see it's already been selected, right? And that's done. That's all I want to mask. Let's say for this specific case, I want to mask just the pigeon or mask everything other than the pigeon. So at that point, we have to click on that mode under view, the drop down, and we have to switch it to alpha channel. And this is when you get to see the black and white video mask. So we can play it if you want as a preview. And once we have done that, let's just pause it and just say done, done masking. And once we have done masking it gives you an option here to export and that's what we want to do we want to export it just leave it at the default values for resolution project dimension and format mp4 and just say export video and it says that it's in the asset page so if you click on that link here it takes you in the assets page that's where your video is loading right now sitting at zero percent let's give it the time for it to complete Uploading the video here. All right, so the video is completely uploaded, our black and white video mask. So all we have to do at that point, and here we can see it under the assets names. And all we have to do, if we highlight that and go all the way to the right-hand side, you see the three dots here? Click on that and download. So that should download into your local. I believe this is the one. So let's just open it up. Hopefully the download is complete. And as you can see, it's already been downloaded. So that's an option for you, for you to be able to create a black and white video mask. Now there are other options that you can utilize perhaps, but I found after a lot of investigation, this is perhaps one of the easiest ways for us to create a dynamic video mask.